My name is Mike. I'm at Highland Hill Farm. We're at the cut your own tree section of the farm. And you can see this is some of our fields that we had and some of the trees are just getting a little too big and are getting too close to one another. So we'll go through and we'll cut out every other one or we'll cut out the ones that are too close to each other and try to get some nice looking ones growing up. But sometimes the trees are so close and there's too many of them and we can't do that. And that's what happens on this side. And We went through this whole field and we thought they were too close and if we would take them out that we would not be able to get them to come back to be nice looking trees. So we're going to cut them all out. We're going to take out these stumps. That after we get them all wood chipped, then we'll go through and take the stumps out. And that's going, to be, that's going to be a lot of work to get that out. But we'll get those guys out. And after we get done with that, then we'll be ready for the springtime. When spring comes and good planting weather arrives, we'll row till this and we'll put new little baby trees in. Now, how many trees are you going to put in this field? <laughs> we're, going to put, we're going to put a lot of trees in here. <laughs> okay. <a> lot. <laughs> and what kind of spacing do you think you'll use for these? Okay, well, we're not going to do the grid pattern anymore. What we're going to do is we're going to do row runs. And we're going to have the rows where each tree, we're going to put the trees in about five to six foot apart. But the rows are going to be seven foot apart. So there's going to be more space between each tree than the five by five right now that it's existing. It won't matter when they're small, having on 5x5, five five, but when they get big, like these, those big ones over there, the 5x5 five five is just too close. If we had it by 6x7 by or 7x5, five, it'd still be a lot better than having it like that. So. And what type of tree are you going to plant in this field and why? This one's going to be planted with Norway spruce. The reason that we chose Norway spruce is that it's in a little bit of a wet spot and it's a little close to the, to the woods. And we're thinking that since it's wet and it's going to be shaded a little bit more than if it's out in the center of the field, that the Norway can tolerate the wetness the best, so it should have the best results here. But on other parts of the farm, we'll try to be putting some other things, like maybe some pines and some balsams and some canons and things like that. But this is definitely going to be Norway. Okay, well, thank you very much, Mike. And uh, what kind of trees were out in this field right now? Well, this was Norway. And the Norways did very, very well here. So and you're pretty much assured that the Norways will do well here. Yeah, again. I'm, I'm positive of that. Now, are you going to subsoil this when we plant this time or no? Well, to be honest, we're not going to be digging these guys out, so there's no real reason to subsoil. If we were going to dig them out, then yeah, we would definitely subsoil so we get the root zone deeper in the ground. But It won't be necessary to yeah. subsoil. I don't think so. And these are going to be just for cut trees. They're going to be just for cut trees. Yep. Okay, well, thank you very much.